Hi, my name is Gladys Igbe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase PHP maximum ex execution time and PHP maximum input VAS. As you can see, um, the current maximum execution time for my uh, team is set on 30 and the input VAS is currently on 1000. So I'm using the Classy Add Pro team. Okay, um, if you're using the same team with me or probably you're using a different team and you have this, um, you know, this error over in your WordPress um, backend. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So quickly, let me just show you the team that I'm using. This is a uh, Classy Art uh, Pro. It's uh, a marketplace uh, team. So if you like the team, I'm going to, you know, um, I'm going to leave a link in the video description um, that you can, you know, get the team from Team Forest. Okay. So quickly, let me just show you how to fix these two errors: PHP maximum execution time and php input vars so we are going to set it to the maximum execution time to 180 and the maximum input vars to um 2000 so i'm going to use uh filezilla i'm going to use filezilla i'm not going to use my cpanel i'm going to use filezilla so if you don't have filezilla installed on your pc um you can go to google just go to Google and type FileZilla client. Okay, so the first link on the um, on the Google uh, search um, homepage, just click on it, and then you would need to you know select the uh, your system type if you're using the 64 bit or and the x86. Just click on download file and then install it. Okay, so as you can see the preview on how it looks like so i'm going to take you back to my filezilla um window okay so you would need to put your host your username your password and your port of course you can get all of these details um on your uh cpanel okay so i have already connected mine so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use um, I'm going to click on the website that I want to set those uh, um, PHP um, maximum execution time and the input valve. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to, select, I'm going to double click on this. All right. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the wp slash admin folder all right so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to search for php.ini so uh p as php.ini so this is the file that i'm going to edit i'm going to right click on the php.ini and then i'm going to left click on view slash edit All right, so it has opened in my notepad. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to paste this code. I'm going to paste the code right there. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to also leave this um, code in the video description so that it will be easy for you to um, get it. Okay, so my mass input vars is um, equal to 2000 and my mass underscore execution underscore time is 180 so i'm going to save i'm going to save it and then i'm going to um close this and then i'm going to click on yes so that is the changes that i've made on this file will, will be transferred um or it, it will be uploaded um into my server so i'm going to click on yes All right, so transfer finished. 
So all files ha have been successfully transferred. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to my WordPress dashboard. So as you can see, um, the error. This is this is what we have. Uh, have this is what we have. Okay, before we made the changes. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to refresh this uh, my WordPress um, back end. I'm going to click on the reload this page. Okay, so as you can see, that um, error has been um, corrected. So the PHP maximum execution time is now 180. And then the PHP maximum input vast is now 2000. As you can see on the indicators, we had um, red and for the maximum execution time. And we also had red on the PHP maximum input vast. But now everything is green. Okay, so this is how to do it, guys. So um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. And if you like the video, click on the like button. If you have any question that you might want me to uh, assist you with, so you can um, use the comment section and then um, post your comment.